This is sort of a belabored story. This is sort of flip side, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, So basically you had a star trader, Tim Haywood, uh, at GAM, made a killing, but then they suspended him and they had to freeze funds because of all the redemptions and now they're starting to liquidate. This is key man risk all over again yeah, in a exactly. lot of ways. We were talking about that over the last couple of weeks in a lot of different aspects. I mean, this is what happens in a lot of these big firms or prominent firms when you have you know, a person or a single trader or a small group of people who are largely responsible for a big chunk of the business and who have drawn in capital on their own. They, you know, they're the personality uh, that's investing. We'll see what happens from here. They're, they are trying to set up some mechanisms by which people can remain invested in GAM in some form or another. Uh, the investment business is highly competitive, as both of you guys know, and so investors are pretty hesitant, shall we say, um, to stay in something where they feel like there's any sort of taint here. But their stock is like down 25% or something. Really yeah, they have like $2.3 yeah. billion dollars in net outflows yeah. through uh, mid-August. I mean, this was really serious. Yeah, and they right. keep saying it didn't lead to any losses of any clients, and right. but, but and we don't know what it was. They say it wasn't wrongdoing, it was just an isolated incident. And they right. do have liquid assets, which is the good thing, yeah, right? But yeah. then they have the li- less liquid, and then how do you wind up balancing that with being the redemption? And perception risk is, is a big, big risk right now uh, in the markets, especially when it comes to money management.